Good morning. Good morning. It's our final good morning from the Carnival Horizon. We are all packed up. Even earlier than we planned to be. Yeah, yeah, we got we got done a little early. You have to be out of the cabin by 8.30. It is currently 7.56. So we are 30 minutes ahead of schedule. Um, yeah, it's a sad morning. Amazing crew. Amazing crew. Yeah. Amazing ship. The ship itself was was really good. We enjoyed it. We thoroughly enjoyed our vacation. Six days was too short. Yes, it was. We should have taken the eight day. We should have. We should have took the six and the eight. <laughs> I don't think our jobs would allow us to do that right now. <laughs> Scoff. Um, so yeah, but like we said yesterday, the fun doesn't stop because we still get to go to South Beach today. Yeah. So we'll be checking out South Beach uh, after debarkation and we'll be taking you guys along with us. So stay tuned for debarkation and South Beach. Yay. Yay. That wasn't a big yay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's one more day. It's one more day. So yeah, I'll take it. So yay. Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, for our final breakfast on board the Horizon, we came up to the Lido deck. Um, they serve breakfast on the Lido on debarkation day till 8.30. So you can come up here. Mm. Grab it. What? It's not 8.30? No. 9.30. Till 9.30. Okay. So till 9.30, I'm sorry. So we came up here grab us a bite and just relax until they call us we're gonna be at the end so as you can see here see it says nine oh camera's like freaking out 9 30 in the Lido 8 30 for for the main dining room that's what I was thinking of uh, for breakfast on deep arcade today. so we're gonna chow down on our breakfast before heading heading down all right so it is uh, exactly 10 a.m. Debarkation is going way slower than we used to, uh, and I expected. Mike just uh, got on the loudspeaker and called for uh, anybody with with luggage tags one through 21. Um, so we are 26. I took the very last set of luggage tags because I knew we weren't going to be in a rush, and just to be polite, let everybody else who has flights to get to, and you know things like that. Go ahead and let them go first, so because they do put out a limited number of luggage tags. So I knew we weren't gonna be in a rush, so I took the very uh, last luggage tags, luggage tag 26. But Mike also said he anticipated all guests to be off the ship by 10:20. I don't know. I mean, the Lido deck was absolutely full when he made that uh, announcement, the, the Lido marketplace where we're sitting. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're just waiting for him to call us. It's now 10 a.m. We, I'm assuming we'll be one of the last people off the ship, but I know the last Norwegian we were on, they literally forced us off the boat at like 9 a.m., so we'll see. 10.15, so make sure you come on down by 10.15 this morning to the main atrium, deck free. Thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you again. And uh, we'll have the entire family to show you a to see you again in the future. All right, 10.06, Mike Pack just called for all guests. August. Mm. That means us. But we get a day in Miami, so. South Beach? Yeah. I'm sure we can get in some trouble somewhere. Mm. Hi, Jinx. <laughs> Shenanigans. Bye. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Our final walk through the Lido Marketplace. Final walk. As you can see, there's Miami. <laughs> Jamie's leaving me.
Bye. Bye. One last look at the atrium. Bye, weird color changing screen cone thing. Bye, tornado, color changing tornado funnel. <laughs> Bye, fun shops. Oh, no fair, mimosas. We need those, not the people coming on board. They need fun chips, they don't need mimosas. We're checked out, final glass tube. And we're off. We are officially debarked. Oh, our last view of the ship. Look, it's our last view. Bye. Thank you. So we got out of the cruise port, we got our Uber, we got here to the hotel. We're staying at the National Hotel on uh, Miami Beach. So on South Beach. Yeah. Hi, there you are. Hi. Um, of course, it's only 11.20, so our room was not available. They did, however, take our luggage um, and they're gonna they hold it. They said they'd call when the room was ready. Right, they're gonna give us a call when the room's ready. So we're gonna go walk around. We'll do a review of the hotel uh, when we come back. And we'll take a look over, we'll do a full walk around, walk her through, show you the rooms, show you the property. But until then, we're going to go hit South Beach. Let's go. down here on Ocean Avenue and we were walking and it was hot so we stopped and sat down in some grass under the tree because they got the road all blocked off down there and we're trying to figure out what's going on apparently NBC is filming Premier League in Paradise live um, looks like a giant street party so I don't even know it is they got all kinds of security down there it says the fan festival highlights nine different matches it has to do with soccer. Oh, it's soccer. Football. Football. For you non-American. Hmm. Yeah. Two-day event. It's in coordination with NBC and Telemundo. Telemundo. Yeah, so. That's what's going down. That's what's going on down here on uh, Ocean Drive. Is it Ocean Drive? Ocean Drive. 
Um, but y'all, I know it's like mid-December, but it is hot. <laughs> Woo, boy, like, uh, our luggage is at the hotel. We left it there, they checked it for us, um, and our sunscreen was in our luggage. I hope my face doesn't burn, because it yeah. feels like it's on fire. I'm pretty much regretting that, because my face felt like it was like, we might have to find one of them Walgreens and get a little tube of sunblock or something because my face is going to be a, on fire here in a minute. So anyway, we're going to take a little rest here in the grass. In the grass. Under a tree. Nice shady tree. And uh, we'll continue to explore South Beach. Alright, we stopped for lunch. Something to drink at the Front Porch Cafe. It's at the very north end of Ocean Drive. It's a big place. It's been here for a long time. It's got really good reviews on TripAdvisor. So we're going to give it a shot. Jamie got, they served breakfast all day. So that made Jamie very excited. She got French toast and fruit. Uh, I got a chicken wrap. So as soon as it gets here, we're going to uh, get our grub on. Wow. Our food just came and they gave me like four whole wraps or like two whole wraps cut in half and Jamie got like half a loaf of french toast <laughs> it's like half a loaf of bread it looks amazing yeah so we're gonna get our grub on
Alright y'all, so we got into the room here at the National in Miami Beach. They called us right about 3.30. I was kind of hoping they'd call us a little earlier than that, but because uh, check-in's four. So, but they did call us. We actually um, sat around the pool area. It's expensive though. Uh, the food and drinks we I got one beer which by the way was a regular can of beer oh. regular 12 ounce can of beer and Jamie got a frozen cocktail it was a mango guava, guava margarita or guava daiquiri. daiquiri and the beer was seven and the daiquiri was eleven which okay that's a little pricey but I understand it's South Beach. It's a resort. But then they tack on the 7% sales tax, 2% local tax, and 17% like resort fee or whatever whatever it is they, they call it. And so you're at almost 30%. So the $19 for the two drinks turned into 24 and some change. So $25 for a can of beer and one daiquiri made in like a plastic cup and then if you tip the bartender yeah and then I tipped the bartender so two drinks was like $27 I missed my cheers package <laughs> just a little um, but the motel is nice we're going to do a full review I did a full walkthrough look for that video check it out if you're interested in seeing a full review of the hotel but the hotel is nice um, we got a nice ocean view we have a, we're on the seventh floor, so you can see the ocean very well. And before coming, before they called us, we walked down to Walgreens. There is a Walgreens half a block uh, south of here, and it, y'all, it is the most South Beach Walgreens I've ever seen. They have sushi. They have liquor. They even had Pedialyte in the refrigerated section. They had, yeah. For your hangovers. Right. Refrigerated Pedialyte for your hangovers. They had suitcases. It was, it was like the size of like an old school Walmart. We just got some bottled water. A couple of Red Bulls for in the morning. But, I mean, you could about go grocery shopping there. So... That's really convenient, and of course you're right in South Beach, so every type of restaurant you want is with, definitely within walking distance. Uh, we ate at that front porch, which was actually quite good, and compare, you know, compared to South Beach prices, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, Jamie's French toast was 12 something. My four pieces, huge pieces of uh, chicken club wrap was 13 and I got a side she got a side so but the where they did get you though was the drinks she got a ginger ale that was four dollars and I got a unsweet tea which was four dollars so but those had free refills and some of the drinks did not have free refills correct but yeah we got those because they had free refills and we were so thirsty uh, it's not too hot temperature wise but the sun even with it being December is is strong and I kind of look like I might got a little pink because I didn't bring my sunblock but anyway so I don't know what we're gonna do this evening probably not much we're pretty tired and we have our flight leaves Miami International Airport tomorrow at 245 so we've got to get up we can sleep in which I'm happy about we can sleep in but we do probably need to leave here by check out here is 11 and that, that would probably actually be a good time to leave to go to the airport so with Miami you definitely we've got to check bags and for whatever reason we haven't been able we don't usually fly American we fly Delta usually and for whatever reason we can't get American to allow us to pay for bags uh, when we check in online I don't know what we're doing wrong Delta I know we always do but so anyway, we've got to check bags and pay for 
or check luggage. And then the last time we flew out of Miami, the security was crazy. I think we were in line at the security gate for what, 45 minutes or so? And the uh, check in for the uh, airlines was also crazy. We were, in, we were in line for like 30 minutes for that. So uh, I, think, I think it took us a good hour, hour and a half from the time we actually got dropped off by the Uber to actually clear security. So we definitely need to be there two hours before a flight. So, all right. Um, that's it for now. We're going to try to chill out, relax. Maybe think about some dinner later on. I don't know. Maybe see if somebody will deliver food to the room and we'll just stare out the window and stare at the ocean and pretend like we're back on the cruise ship. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But that's it for now. It's 4.45 and out our window, what do I see? A carnival ship going out. I bet it's the horizon. Bye, horizon. I'm sad watching you leave without me. McDonald's we just ate at in South Beach. Yes, it was crazy. singing country songs off camera. Oh, oh Lord, now she's shaking the camera. Oh, it's an earthquake. <laughs> it's not an evening wrap up, it's an earthquake. Oh my goodness, okay. All right. <laughs> evening wrap up. So, South Beach. South Beach. We came, we saw, we probably will not be back. Probably not. It's not really our scene. Um, we saw cool things though. Yeah, I mean, I like the Art Deco buildings and stuff. That's pretty cool to look at. And you know, whatever they were doing with that festival over there, mm -hmm. that was kind of cool. Yeah, they had some musician that we didn't know who it was singing some some. Um, who would you say? It was Bruno Mars. Bruno and Mars Beyonce. songs and Beyonce songs and mm -hmm. all that pop. That stuff, stuff that you all them young whippersnappers that, that you don't listen are to. Into, you know. I listen to it. I must be a young whippersnapper. <laughs> <laughs> you young whippersnapper. <laughs> but so we started off the day with um, debarking the carnival. Wait, no. No, we didn't debark. No. We did <laughs> not debark. He said debark earlier. What is that? We. I have a reflection in my, I, in I my think, glasses. I think it's the lights. I'm going to take my glasses oh. off. Now you're not going to get recognized by the facial scanners. <laughs> the facial scanners, yes. Uh, so we disembarked the Carnival Horizon, and the, although we waited a while up on the Lido, as soon as they did call our number, went perfectly smooth, walked right off the ship, right mm -hmm. through security, 
and Miami at the Carnival Port has the new um, Customs has the facial recognition right and it works beautifully for me I have a very recognizable face they scanned my face and they said go right on in. go right on in sir have a nice day I said thank you and then they scanned her face and went ah. <laughs> Is that what they did? Yeah. It, did went, it, ah. it went just like that? It went just like that. Yeah. And they told her, nope, you have to go through the line and have them check your passport. Which was a running theme every time I tried to get on or off the ship mm -hmm. all week. Yeah, they made her take a new picture. Every time she got on or off the ship, glasses on, glasses off, glasses on, glasses off. So, yeah. not really a surprise, but it wasn't a big deal. You got through no, the I mean, passport line in a minute or two. The line had probably... 10 people in front of me and he the customs agent literally like looked at my passport and looked at my face and gave like this look like why is it sending her to me mm -hmm. and then let me through yeah that that quick and then we got our bags really quick got a porter got out to the curb and at Miami y'all y'all have to figure out something better to separate the incoming and outgoing people because it was it was a zoo out there basically mayhem yeah I mean, it was so hard to find our lift driver he couldn't find us we couldn't find him yeah it was it was chaos total chaos but it was it was all good we we finally found him we got over here to south beach we came to the hotel like i said in the earlier video they weren't ready which was fine we walked around we ate at the front porch the front porch cafe on, um, on ocean drive on ocean drive it was good uh and for south beach prices it wasn't bad a mm -hmm. lot of food large portions a little pricey the french toast was really good if you go there you have to try the french toast it was really good yeah and um we came back here to the hotel at two o'clock our room still wasn't ready which was fine we went out to the the pool area and ordered one drink each which was really expensive it was like 24 dollars for one can of beer and one uh what'd you get the size plastic cup full of a guava daiquiri yeah like a standard plastic plastic cup yeah it was a little not like solo cup size no it was, no it was little probably like a 12 ounce cup yeah but we we drank that and then we went to walgreens because it's only half a block away to pick up some waters and drinks to have in the in, in the room and they called us and said hey your room's ready and we came up we looked at the room looks fine um we did a, a we did a whole room review if you want to check out that video um, it'll be on here somewhere uh, it'll be on our channel check it out if you're interested and you're thinking about staying here we'll link it to this video we'll put a link if uh, however just give you a little spoiler alert we're not happy it's definitely not a four star um, I mean I wouldn't say that we aren't happy it's it just isn't a four star hotel. it just is not a four star hotel and it definitely tries to put make itself you know that it is one mm. I know that this exact room that we're in went for 500 or over 500 a night and just a few weeks ago and if I paid $500 a night to stay on this property in this room or in the other room we were in mm -hmm. well you'll find out about that later um, we had to move then I house. then I would be pretty I'd be pretty upset that I'd spent that kind of money on a hotel room. Absolutely. Um, especially since they also tack on resort fees and all of that. Right. It gets it gets pricey quick. Yeah. So we ate at a fine South Beach establishment, Le McDaniels. It's French. What did you just say? That didn't sound like McDonald's. It didn't sound French either. It was French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. And y'all, that was the craziest McDonald's I've ever been in. It was so busy. <laughs> there were 800. Talk th about sensory overload. It was like 800,000 people in there trying to get a cheeseburger. Oh. It, it almost looked like something off Wall Street. Like people had their tickets with their ticket numbers on it. They, and they're like standing up the counter, like <laughs> yelling and shaking their tickets. I was like, what's going 
funny. It was insane because oh, there was like these South Beach people are crazy about some cheeseburgers. There were like six or eight like self-pay, self-order kiosks, mm -hmm. and then there were like two or three registers, and there were a lot of people in there. There was, and you know what? If it was a guy's burger, I could understand. You but not McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but not McDonald's. No. no. That's okay. We got us a, a ten dollar dinner, and and it tasted like it was supposed to. It tasted like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah. And then we came back to the room, and after our hotel troubles, and we settled in for the night. Yep. So we uh, fly out of Miami Airport tomorrow. We have a two forty five flight, I believe it is. So, hotel checkout time is 11. We will be proceeding to the airport probably about that time so that we can get through security and get to our gate with plenty enough time. Yeah, I'd rather just be there early. and yeah. Plus, I don't really feel like hanging out in Miami Beach much longer. Right. So, we will be proceeding to the airport in the morning and then with our ultimate destination, the Atlanta airport, where our car is... Where we will then drive home. Mm. And that will officially end vacation. Yeah. I'm ready to be home, but I do, I do, I don't like ending vacation. No. Nobody does. No. Because I want to live the vacay life. Hashtag vacay life. Vacay life. Vacay is life. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to. What are you laughing about? What you said to me before. I'm going to end the board meeting. <laughs> Is there anything else? No. That's not how you did it. What, what, how, did, how did I say it before? If there's nothing else. If there's nothing else. If there's nothing else. He, earlier, we did a video and he said at the end, he said, Is there anything else? And I was like, What is this? A board meeting? <laughs> Is there anything else? Meeting adjourned. <laughs> All right. Well, um, it wasn't as funny the second time. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. You, <laughs> you, you had to be there, and you weren't. Sorry. <laughs> so. All right. Well. Until next time. We'll see you on the interwebs. On the interwebs? On the interwebs. Is that what it's called? On the YouTubes. You why, put, why is it tubes? You just put an S on the end of it. It's, There's not multiple tubes. Sounds, there is a YouTube. It, it sounds cool if you put an S on it. <laughs> oh my goodness. YouTubes. No, it's yes. YouTube. It's the YouTubes. Oh, yes. good gracious. Yes. No, All right. All right. Until next time. Yeah, until next time. Bye, y'all. See ya.